Uh, in this video, we will uh, try to learn how to find the consumer surplus uh, from a given demand function and the equilibrium price. Okay. We are given uh, a demand function is that is Q of P is equal to 100 minus 2P where Q is the quantity and P is the price. What is consumer surplus when market price is P is equal to $40? We have to find the consumer surplus when price is uh, equal to $40. Okay. So how do we calculate uh, the consumer surplus? And we know the consumer surplus is nothing. It is simply the consumers willing uh, to pay for a good and uh, the actual price paid. The difference between these two prices gives us the consumer surplus. Okay. So uh, how do we find? First, we write this demand function. That is Q is equal to 100 minus 2P. Okay. Then we uh, solve this uh, demand function for P, that is we find the inverse demand function here, okay. So solving for P, we will get, uh, when transposing these, uh, will become 2P is equal to 100 uh, minus, this will become negative Q, okay. Or P is equal to simply 100 minus Q divided by 2, which is equal to 50. Uh, minus uh, q divided by 2 okay so this is our inverse demand function p is equal to q divided by 2 sorry uh, we have this uh, 50 plus 50 uh, minus q divided by 2 okay now we are given the equilibrium price is or rather the market price is equal to 40 dollars so we can uh, insert either in this equation or the given equation the value of p is equal to 40 dollars okay so if we put here in this equation this will imply q is equal to 100 minus 2 times the given price is 40 which will come out to be 100 minus 80 which comes out to be 20 okay so we got the equilibrium quantity I will write here Q is equal to 20 is our equilibrium quantity and the price would be simply then P is equal to uh, sorry price uh, price is given we have calculated rather the price is already given in the question so we got uh, P is equal to 40 and Q is equal to 20 okay so first step in solving uh, rather in finding the consumer surplus is to uh, find the inverse demand function if uh, the inverse demand is uh, given we have to do nothing then just we have to find the value of q and p if the q a value of p is not given okay now uh, we find the total expenditure so i will write total expenditure by t total expenditure by consumer will be equal to price times quantity okay so here price is uh, 20 times the quantities sorry price is 40 uh, it is 40 times quantity is 20 so this is equal to 800 okay now we will find uh, the consumer surplus the formula for a uh, consumer surplus is simply a uh, consumer surplus is equal to the definite integral from zero to equilibrium quantity okay and taking integral of the inverse demand function that is this uh, demand function okay that is uh, 50 minus q divided by 2 dq okay and from that we subtract we subtract so i will write this in brackets so that you don't get confused whether uh, this integral is with this price uh, times quantity that is a total expenditure so a uh, consumer surplus is simply the definite integral from zero to equilibrium quantity and integrating uh, the inverse demand function with respect to quantity minus the total expenditure okay so uh, i would uh, in parallel show you graphically how it is done so let us say here uh, we measure the quantity here we measure the price okay we are given a demand function whose intercept is 50 and the slope is 
one half so I can show it here here it is 50 now uh, we have calculated uh, the equilibrium quantity is 20 let us say it is uh, 20 here this very thing is 20 and uh, equilibrium price equilibrium price is also given which is equal to 40 okay this is our inverse demand function that is r50 minus q divided by 2 first we will solve this integral so simply this is 0 uh, equilibrium quantity is 20 50 minus q divided by 2 dq minus minus so i will write it in brackets minus p into q p into q we have calculated which is equal to 800 now integrating this integral so this will become uh, the integral of 50 is simply 50 q minus the integral of uh, q is q square divided by 2 so this will become q square uh, divided by 4 from uh, 0 to 20 minus 800 okay now so i hope you know how to find the integral integral is simply at uh, the anti uh, rather the inverse or reciprocal of the differentiation the differentiation and integration are opposite to each other okay if we are given to find the integral of x its integral is simply we uh, we add the exponent with plus one and similarly uh, whatever the exponent becomes uh, we divide it by the resulting exponent let us say here we have x to the power n and we have to find the integral of this it is its integral would be simply equal to x n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 we just uh, uh, add 1 to the exponent and uh, divide by the resulting thing which is in the exponent okay uh, similarly if we have x to the power 5 its integral would be simply x to the power 5 plus 1 divided by 5 plus 1 that is the sim uh, sim same rule which I applied here the integral of Q uh, is simply Q square divided by 2 okay because the integral of Q can be written as like a Q to the power 1 and its uh, integral would be simply Q1 uh, plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 which is equal to Q square divided by 2 okay I hope I am making myself clear. Now uh, we will uh, solve uh, this very integral. It is simply uh, we have to evaluate uh, this very integral uh, at the upper limit of 20 and then subtract uh, this same thing and evaluate at uh, 0. Okay. So we don't need to evaluate at zero because this will become zero so we will evaluate this very uh, expression at 20. so uh, let me make this clear to you so we have 50 so i will write uh, 50 50 let me take another color 50 uh, the value of q would be 20 so i will write 20 minus uh, the value of q is 20 so this is 20 square divided by 4 okay minus uh, we have to evaluate uh, this expression at 0 so this will become 50 into 0 is 0 0 square divided by 4 is 0 so we don't need to evaluate here okay minus 800 now uh, 50 into 20 is 1000 minus 20 square is 400 divided by 4 minus 800 okay so this comes out to be 1000 minus 4 ones are uh, 4 so we get 
वन हंड्रेड माइनस एट हंड्रेड ओके और वी गॉट वन थाउजेंड माइनस नाइन हंड्रेड और वी गॉट हंड्रेड इज द कंज्यूमर सरप्लस सो आवर कंज्यूमर सरप्लस इज वन हंड्रेड Now, what does this consumer surplus tell us? It simply tells us uh, the consumer's uh, willingness to pay for a good. So, consumer uh, could have paid uh, either fifty, fifty rupees, the maximum price. But since the consumers are actually paying forty uh, rupees, okay, so the area of this triangle is actually the consumer surplus. That is. Uh, the willingness to pay uh, so the willingness to pay could have been a uh, uh, 50 49 43 42 41 41 but since the consumer is only paying the 40 so uh, it is simply uh, the difference between uh, what uh, the consumer wishes to pay for a product minus what he actually uh, pays okay so the consumer surplus would be simply uh, then the area of this very triangle okay or we can simply say consumer surplus is the area which is below the demand curve this is the demand curve and the equilibrium price so below the demand curve and above the equilibrium price uh, the triangle which is formed uh, is the consumer surplus okay so graphically I, we can also show it how do we calculate the consumer surplus Simply, we have to find the area of this very triangle. As we know, area of let us say, I will I will not write A B C. So I will just write a uh, area. Area of triangle. Okay, I will uh, name it. Let us say it is A, B and C. Area of this triangle A B C, as we know, is equal to one half of base into height. Okay, so one half of our base would be AC. So I will write AC times height is BC. BC, which is equal to one half of. Now AC is simply fifty minus forty, which is equal to ten. Into and BC would be equal to this very thing, because BC and uh, the distance between zero and twenty would be same. Okay. So it is twenty. Twenty minus zero is twenty. So I will write twenty. Two ones are two fives are ten, and five twenties are hundred. Okay. So we got the area of this very uh, a green triangle as equal to hundred, and this is the uh, this is the same result which we got here uh, by integrating the demand function and from that uh, subtracting the total expenditure. I hope I make myself clear. so i will just write the definition of the consumer surplus in case you don't give, get it so consumer surplus is simply i i will write here consumer surplus is is equal to area uh, below demand curve and above area between sorry i will write Uh, right uh, area which lies between okay area below demand below the demand curve my english or my accent is not uh, so much uh, good so i'm just uh, sorry for that so consumer surplus is simply the area which is below uh, below the demand curve below the demand curve and above the equilibrium price above the equilibrium price okay and consumer surplus as i have told is simply uh, the consumer's willingness to pay for a good and uh, the actual price he paid i hope i make myself clear if you like this video please share and subscribe thank you